In this video tutorial, you will learn how to fix the site ahead contains malware error in WordPress. If you are currently seeing the site ahead contains malware or deceptive site ahead error when accessing your website, then you need to remove the Google malware warning as soon as possible, as this error indicates your site has been hacked or infected with harmful programs. This can seriously harm the reputation of your site, both to search engines and to your readers. There are three things you have to do to remove this error. First, scan your website with a malware removal plugin. Second, scan your database. Third, submit your website to Google for reconsideration. Let's begin with installing a malware removal plugin to scan our website. To do that, go to Plugins in your WordPress dashboard. Then click on Add New. In the search bar, type WordFence and press Enter. This is the plugin. Click on Install Now to start the installation. You can see that this plugin has a very good rating, and you can check here if the plugin is compatible with your version of WordPress. When the installation is complete, this button will change to Activate. Click on this button to activate the plugin. After the plugin gets activated, the WordFence icon will appear on your dashboard. Go to the WordFence icon then click on Scan. Before starting the scan, click on Scan Options and Scheduling. Change the scan type from Standard to High Sensitivity. Then click on Save Changes. Once the changes have been saved, click here on Back to Scan. Click here on Start New Scan to start scanning your WordPress website for malware. It might take around 30 minutes to an hour for the plugin to completely scan your website. Once the scan is complete, you will get a scan report which looks like this. You can see that we have some files that need to be repaired, but beside that, everything looks good. To proceed, click on Repair or Repairable Files. You will get a warning message, but as long as you have a recent backup of your website, you can proceed. Sometimes there may be some unwanted softwares on your website, which cannot be repaired. You can remove them by clicking on Delete All Deletable Files. When your website is scanned and repaired, your site should be malware-free. After you have scanned your website with WordFence, you can be quite sure that your website was thoroughly cleaned. Now, to be extra sure, you can scan your database for any residual malware. To do that, we will install a plugin. So go to Plugins in your WordPress dashboard, then click on Add New. In the search bar, type Exploit Scanner and press Enter. This is the plugin. Click on Install Now to start the installation. When the installation is complete, this button will change to Activate. Click on this button to activate the plugin. After the plugin gets activated, it will take you to the plugins page. Now go to Tools on the left hand side of your screen. Then click on Exploit Scanner. In the Exploit Scanner, click on Run the Scan. Once the scan is finished, Hit Ctrl plus F in your keyboard to open Find in Page. Then search for Database. Check through all the database-related errors to locate those that indicate suspicious extensions and activity. 
You can trace the file manipulating the database in a suspicious way and edit or delete it. As you must have noticed, the exploit scanner does not give you an option or a button to fix vulnerabilities. It only helps you identify site malware. You would have to be a pretty advanced user to follow these instructions and remove the vulnerabilities or hacks. If you are unsure about this, you can visit the link in the description and book a request with us to help you secure your database. Now that you have completely cleaned your site from malware, you have to inform Google of this using Google Search Console. To do that, go to Google Search Console. I already have it open in a new tab here. Now you have to select a property type. In my case, I'll do it with a URL prefix. So, enter your website's URL here. Then, click on Continue. Now you will have to verify ownership of your site. And one of the easiest ways to do that is with HTML tags. So, under the verification methods, click on the HTML tag. Now, we will copy this verification code on our website. To add this code to our website, we will install a plugin first. So back in our WordPress dashboard, go to Plugins, then click on Add New. In the search bar, type Insert Headers and Footers, This is the plugin by WP Beginner. Click on Install Now to start the installation. You can see that this plugin has a very good rating. When the installation is complete, this button will change to Activate. Click on this button to activate the plugin. After the plugin gets activated, it will take you to the plugins page. Now, go to Settings on the left hand side of your page, then click on Insert Headers and Footers. Under the Scripts and Headers section, copy the verification code. Then scroll down to the bottom of the page and click on Save. Now, back in the Google Search Console, click on Verify. As you can see, the ownership is verified. Now when you view your property, you will see this page. After a couple of days, you will start seeing data on your website here. One last thing to do is go to Security on the left-hand side. Then click on Security Issues. As you can see, right now I don't have any issues, but if your site has any malware left, they will show here. Address those issues and then request a review. This is how you can fix the site ahead contains malware error in WordPress. That's it for today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button. If you're new to our channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.